All right, Shalom, Shalom. Call him like, you know how about Shimi Al Shai, about Shem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone who we well. Peace, blessings, and salutations go to the hope from that that's got abroad. To you, brothers out there pushing the truth with our righteousness and sincerity, and to the Aqua, the few sisters that are listening and learning, to you, I say Shalom. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. Lord willing to have to find the feet, then I see y'all about me outside through the spirit with cock with dash of praise. Let's be able to find it straight to the point. We're gonna jump right into this, man. Okay. And so as y'all know, the death toll now in Turkey. All right, from after that hurt, I'm so lucky not hurricane, but earthquake, I'm trying to say. <laughs> earthquake so lucky. All right, from that 7.8 magnitude earthquake is now 12,000, man. And it could be more deaths coming, man. Okay. Okay, so I said last night, man, the death could surpass like 8,000, man. But hey, now it's 12,000, man. So 12,000 people are dead, man. Okay, and we all know, right? We all know that that was the spirit of Yahweh Shin Yahshai that caused that earthquake. But we also know that, hey, Esau Edom can do these, this type of thing too. All right, man made earthquakes, man made uh, storms. Okay. Severe thunderstorms, earthquakes, hurricanes, etc. By using his harp system, man. Okay? So, hey. <laughs> hey, and a lot of folks are thinking that this damn devil, Esau, him, is responsible for the shit. And, hey, I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't, man. Because, hey, this devil has the power to do this. Okay? Alright? Job 9.24 says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? So, I wouldn't put it past this damn devil that he did this shit. Okay? But... We also got to remember this too, that hey, Yahweh Shmi Al Shai is also behind those same disasters as well. Okay? So hey, the Lord Yahweh Shmi Al Shai uses Esau Edom to hey, to bring death and destruction upon this earth, man. And as a matter of fact, let's start off here. This is Psalms chapter 17 and verse 13. Arise, O Lord Yahweh Shmi Al Shai. Disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword. So Esau Edom is the glory how about she outside sword on the left hand, okay? Doing all these things, man. Okay. He's the one that uses Esau Edom, okay, to also issue out judgment. Okay? And you think the death toll is higher there? Wait till that stuff comes to Babylon the Great America, man. Okay? So hey, wait till it comes to America. He ain't seen nothing yet. The death toll is going to be in the millions here, okay? So, hey, a lot of folks are going to start dropping dead, man, okay? Not just from these concussions, man. You already see that, but they trying to cover that up, all right? There's probably been more people who done dropped dead from this thing, but, hey, they trying to sweep this under the rug, okay? So, hey, I wouldn't be surprised, man. But look, look, these devils, you know, hey, we ain't ignorant of Esau's devices, man. Like I said, at least Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices, okay? Let's keep it moving. Let's go here. <clears throat> the book of Daniel, chapter 8, and verse 25. And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many, okay? And when that time comes, man, the MOTB, okay, he's going to cause many to get destroyed man okay like he says when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction shall come upon them as to prevail upon the woman with child and they shall not escape we're gonna get that scripture okay so hey all right they already talked about getting rid of the whole c19 policies and stuff like that come may the 11 all right so that's what they're going into this peace and safety they're getting ready for another disaster to come man another man-made disaster to come so, hey, they can hurry up and urge the end the NWO, all right, Techno through technocracy, all right? And hey, so they can C-H-I-P-P-E-D everyone, okay? They want to uh, C-HIP everyone, okay? So, hey, beware of this devil, man. Esau, even so-called white man. So, we, hey, we got to continue to watch, man. Let's read this again. Daniels 8 and 25. And through his policy... Also, he shall cause craft, craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. So the glory house shy is going to come back and smash this damn devil, man. 
He's not going to fulfill his NWO. And that's what this is all about, man. Okay? Hey, the wicked has been revealed, man. Let's go here. Revelation chapter 6 and verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. This is talking about Esau, Edom, so-called white man. And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth, that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Okay, and this devil lives by his sword, his technology, his weapons, okay, his military, okay. This devil lives by this, man, and he's going to put this in full use, okay, when he comes down with great wrath because he knows that he got but a short time, especially when he forced this MOT, <clears throat> MOTB on everyone, man, the hour of temptation, okay. This devil is about to come down with great wrath. Something huge is coming, man, and hey, us brothers, we can feel it through the spirit, man. Let's go here. The book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. This devil knows that he got a short time to rule. So, hey, things are about to speed up. Prophecy is about to jump off the pages, man. Okay? Excuse me. Let's see. Where else we go? Let's go down here. <clears throat> but hey, at the same time as the Lord Yahabashin Yahshai is using Esau Edom, all of these, and it's also going to be, hey, Yahabashin Yahshai that issued out judgment, man. Okay? This is Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 3. And I will appoint over them four kinds. Four kinds of what? Four kinds of judgments. Said the Lord Yahweh Shai, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heavens, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Okay? So, hey, the Lord Yahweh Shai is about to appoint four kinds of judgment, man. Okay? Famine is coming. All right? You're going to have these wild animals, these dogs, tearing at people, man. Dogs going to be, hey, eating people. Why you think you got all these stray dogs running around, man? Where I live, we got a whole bunch of stray dogs just running around, man. And we're pretty soon, them dogs are going to be used for spirits created for vengeance. And not just dogs, man. Hey, Esau, eat them. All right? These men here in Babylon, the great America, man, that's been mistreated by these wicked-ass E's, these women, hey, there's going to be spirits unleashed. All hell and chaos is coming, man. Okay? And this is why we warn you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americas to wake your ass up. Because judgment is coming. And hey, the glory of Hashem Yahshua is not plain. And as a matter of fact, let's go to Ezekiel 9. Let's go to verse 4. The book of Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. And the glory of Hashem Yahshua said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of. And what is that mark? That mark is the wa in the Hebrew, which means an exemption from judgment. Okay? And the whole full name. All right? We pray that the Lord Yahabashim Yahshah, hey, exempts us from judgment, man. Protects us in those times, man. Because shit is about to get, <laughs> man, it's about to go from zero to 60, man. Okay? In these next coming months, okay? And hey, next month is spring. Of course, you got the Passover. Well, of course, on March the 8th, all right? These devils, they're about to, um, hey, they're about to release their CBDC, okay? Your cash is about to go digital, okay? World War Three is brewing, okay? We're already in World War Three, but it hasn't gone full blown yet. So, hey, all these prophecies are coming to pass, man. Horrible judgment is about to come. And you think what happened in Turkey and Syria, okay, with that earthquake, man, that's 12,000 deaths. Just imagine when that comes to America, Babylon the Great, man. The death toll is going to be higher than that, okay? You're going to have people dying by the thousands day in and day out, man, as horrible judgment goes forth. A time of Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7 and Daniel 12 and 1, okay? Let's read on verse 5. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Verse 6. 
slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Okay? So, hey, judgment is coming, man. And we're warning you, Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, it's time to fear the Lord, Yah, Bashem, Yahshai, man. Okay? Make no turn to turn to the Lord, man. And put not off from day to day. It's time to fear Yah, Bashem, Yahshai. If you don't fear Yah, Bashem, Yahshai, that fear is going to be instilled into you, whether you want it or not. Okay? The Lord, Yah, Bashem, Yahshai, is about to put fear and to these people, and especially you two-third Israelites, man. Let me put this on. Uh, um, do not disturb. It's knocking. All right. So, hey. Heavy judgment is coming. Okay? And it's time to repent. And as a matter of fact, let me get a scripture. Let's go to Isaiah 55 and verse 6. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the glory how about she outside while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Seek the Lord now, man. Okay? Because, hey, time is running out. Time is short. Okay? And, hey, you ain't got long. Okay? It's time to start seeking the Lord. How about seeing y'all shine now? Before it's too late. Because time is running out, man. And, well, hey, once the men of the Lord are off the streets and off this internet and gone, what you gonna do? Where you going to get your information from, man? Where you going to get your warnings from? Okay? IUIC ain't going to warn you. They're going to tell you that all is well. <laughs> They're going to tell you there is no Jacob's trouble like they done told you. Ain't no Jacob's trouble coming. That's bullshit, man. Okay? So, hey, don't believe it. Because, hey, the warning is going out. And, hey, you Israelites ain't got no excuse. Okay? No excuses at all, man. Okay, because the warning is going out. All right? So, hey, time is running out, man. Let's read this again. Isaiah 55, verse 6 again. Seek ye the glory, how about she outside, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to the glory, how about she outside, he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, he will abundantly pardon. Okay? So, hey. Seek the Lord now, man. Okay? Because, hey, once judgment goes, starts to go forth in this place, and, hey, people start dropping dead and start getting put to death, you're going to know that, hey, the Lord Yahweh Bashin Yahshai is not this all loving God that Christianity has pushed upon you, man. All right? Christianity, they are sure ain't warning you about. they telling you that God's good all the time. All the time, God's good. Pushing that prosperity doctrine, man. Okay? Ain't nothing prosper and prosperity and nothing peaceful is coming to this place, man. Nothing but death and destruction is coming to this place, man. Okay? So it is time to repent. Let's read this. Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 4. They shall die a grievous death. Two-thirds are going to be put to death, man. And the majority of two-thirds Israelites are you women. You Eves. You wicked-ass Eves, man. Okay? You wicked as ease is about to be put to death. Along with you fucking beta male simps that follow after these wicked as ease, man. And this is going to be a righteous judgment coming from you. How about Shem Yahu Shai? Okay? Jeremiah 16 and verse 4. They shall die a grievous death. They shall not be lamented. Neither shall they be buried. You're going to be seeing dead bodies all on the ground, man. You're going to be stepping over these bodies, man. And that's going to create more diseases, man. Okay? More illness, illnesses and more diseases. Okay? But they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. And they shall be, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. And their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. These animals are going to be having them nice little feasts, man. Okay? All these little stray dogs running around, man, looking for something to eat. They ain't going to be looking for something to eat very long. You humans are going to become the food. And hey, <laughs> these animals going to be eating you. And not, not just animals, man. Humans as well. 
Because wait till, hey, when a famine happens, the food shortages happen, then, hey, humans going to become the food, man. Cannibalism is coming back in a major way. Man, we're talking about a time like no other, man. Okay? Repent before it's too late. We ain't saying these things just to hear ourselves talk. This is what the Mori Habashi Yashai is telling us to say, man. He's giving us the words to say. This is not of my words. This is the words of the Mori Habashi Yashai. Okay? Like he said, give them warning from me. And this is what we're doing. We are warning you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And, of course, you speck of Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen that look like the heathens, man. It is time to repent because judgment is coming. Death is coming. The sword is coming, man. The Lord, Yahweh, Shai, he is coming back to bring judgment upon this world. This wicked-ass queen. He's about to take Esau Edom out of his rulership, man. Okay? Repent now before it is too late. Point blank period, man. How many times we have to say this? Okay? Because pretty soon you're not going to be able to hear these words. Then what you going to do? You're going to be lost. And two-thirds of our people, they're going to definitely be lost when the family of the word happens. Amos 8 and 11 and 12. All right, we're going to get that. Let's read this, though. Jeremiah chapter 16. Let's read verse 4. Let's read verse 4 again. Okay? The book of Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 4 again. They shall all, so like, they shall die a grievous death. They shall not be a minute, neither shall they be buried. But they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. And they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. And their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of the heaven, fowls of heavens, the birds. All right, them buzzards, <laughs> them little, them damn turkey vultures, and for the beasts of the earth. Not just beasts, but also humans as well, okay? Because sometimes the Bible describes beasts as humans as well, man, okay? Verse 5, for thus said the Lord, how about she all shy? Enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament, nor bemoan them. We're not going to shed a motherfucking tear for you. Excuse my language. When, hey, two-thirds of you wicked ass Israelites start to get jacked up, you think we're going to cry for you? Hell no. We ain't going to cry and shed a tear for you. We're going to rejoice because we know this is judgment from the Lord Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh We're going to be saying, Call Hala Yahweh Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh B'Hashim Rakaq Wadash Brakatha Yahweh Brakatha Yahweh Shai. Man, we're going to rejoice to see, hey, two-thirds of our enemies fall. And then eventually, Esau even the so-called white man, man. We're going to rejoice over that because we know it is judgment from the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay? And we ain't going to bemoan you. We ain't going to shed a tear for you. Nope. Mm-mm. uh uh For I have taken away my peace from this people, said the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai, even loving kindness and mercies. Okay? So, hey, the warning is going out, man. Okay? But that warning is about to come to an end. Let's go here. Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, Yahweh, Shia, Shia, power, that I was in a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh, Shia, Shia. The famine of the word is coming, man. Okay? Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east, Excuse me. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh Shai and shall not find it. You're not going to find this word, okay? A lot of you gonna be scrambling, trying to figure out what to do. What to do? What's going on? The answer's not gonna be there for you. You had all this time to get all the answers. You rejected the Lord Yahweh Shai. You rejected his men that was trying to warn you. So hey. Good luck. Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 33. And the slaying of the Lord, Yahweh shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even into the other end of the earth. They shall not be in a minute, neither gathered nor buried. They should be as dung. It's like they should be dung upon the ground. Like shit, man. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go here. Mm. 
Let's go here. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy house with destruction and death. This is what's coming. No peace is coming, man. Widowhood is coming. Poverty is coming. Famine is coming. Pestilence is coming. The sword is coming. The sword of the Lord, Yahweh, Shai. Okay? It's coming. All right? Destruction and death is coming. Okay? This is what we do. We are warning you to repent before it is too late. Let's go here. This is 2nd Israel chapter 16 and verse 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and, and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloth of sack and hair. Be well your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. Yeah, the destruction of Babylon and Great America is at hand. And for these wicked two-thirds, these heathens and these Edomites, man. Okay? And the ones that do hey survive this destruction okay because we know that the the global banking families all right amalek which is the head tribe of esau they're gonna go in the hiding man they're gonna hey they're gonna flee okay they're gonna go in the hiding they're gonna flee okay and the ones that are left these left of these heathens that are left they're gonna be hey once the man of the lord the hundred and forty four thousand, the new jerusalem will come out of those chariots man they're gonna be rounded up and they're going straight into slavery. And the rest of you Edomites that die on this side, okay, you're going to be born back into the kingdom of slaves, all right, and along with the rest of you heathens. And the two-thirds that die on this side, they're going to be born back through the laws of the hopeful net, man. But they're going to be in their right minds, okay? And hey, they're going to be good, but they're going to be ashamed for what they did, okay? They're going to be ashamed for what they did on this side. And hey, they're going to be reminded, but eventually they're going to be saved, man. Like it tells you in Isaiah, not Isaiah, but uh, Romans the 11 chapter, that all Israel shall be saved. But only the elect is going to be saved on this side. Two-thirds are not going to be saved on this side, okay? Let's continue on. Verse 3. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent upon you, among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you and what is he that may drive them away verse 6 may any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it had begun to burn may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer verse 8 the mighty glory how about you shot send it the players and who is he that can drive them away no one these plays are going to be sent by Habash and Yashai. They're going to be man-made plays too, but hey. But also, these are also going to be plans that are also going to be sent by Habash and Yashai. Okay? We don't take Habash and Yashai out of the equation because, hey, the Lord Habash and Yashai is going to use Esau Edom to bring these things, man. Okay? On the left-hand side. All right? Judgment on the left-hand side. Okay? Verse 14, Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again till they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. And what's going to consume the foundation of this earth, man? The ICBM nuclear missile. This ICBM nuclear missile is going to destroy America, man. Babylon the Great. And there's going to be millions that are going to die here, Okay. Especially the ones that take the MOTB. All right. Revelation chapter 14, verses 9 and 10. Like the Lord said, you take the MOTB, you, hey, you submit yourself to this devil, you're going to be left here to burn by them ICBM nuclear missiles and the laser being fired from the chariots of the Lord Yahweh Shai. Like it tells you in Isaiah chapter 66, to verse 15, 16, the slaying of the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be many. Okay. And we're going to get this scripture too. Verse 16, like as an arrow which is shot of a strong, shot of a mighty archer returning not backward, even so the place that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Verse 17, woe is me, woe is me, who, who will deliver me in those days? Because the prophet Israel, he saw this. So he's like, woe is me, man. Who's going to deliver me in these days? 
And he already know who's going to deliver him because the prophet Ezra, he's back. And he's going to see this in real time. We don't know who Ezra is, okay? But we know he's back, prophesying and laboring, man, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Verse 18. Be the, beginning of, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? We're in the beginning of evils, man. Okay? Evil days are near. And they're going to, hey. And more I can say, man. Okay? Been warned. Verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Verse 20, but for all these things, they shall not return. So they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Verse 21, behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. This is what's coming to Babylon, man. Okay. Sword, famine, and great confusion, man. Okay. Verse 22, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, food shortages. A lot of folks are going to starve to death, and the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Verse 23, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. This is what's coming, okay? <clears throat> Let's go to now. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go here. This is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, how about she all shy? Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Two thirds of you wicked as Israelites about to be cut off on this side and die, man. Judgment is coming. Okay. But the one third is going to be left. Okay. Verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. All right, calling on the name who? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is going to hear his elect, man, his hopeful elect. Lord, when will part of that number? I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is my power. Okay? <clears throat> Let's go to now. Let's see. Let's go here. Second Israel chapter 15 and verse 5. Behold, said the Lord, how about she out shine? I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. This is what's coming. Okay? How many times we got to read these scriptures, man? Hmm? We're going to keep reading them until this stuff happens, man. And hey, this is about to happen. <laughs> We're going to keep reading these scriptures until these prophecies come to pass, which we're not far away from. These prophecies we're reading about are about to come to pass, man. Then you're going to know that, there, that there's been a true prophet among you, okay? You're going to know who the real prophets and who the real men of the Lord are, okay? Verse 6, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful words are fulfilled. Verse 7, therefore said the Lord, how about she out shy? I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. The men of the Lord are doing this, man. Sighing and crying. And we read that in Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. Okay? The men of the Lord that are sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Verse 9. Therefore said the Lord, how about she out shy? I will surely avenge them. Okay? The Lord is how about she out shy? He's going to avenge his elect, man. All right? Luke chapter 18, verse 7 and 8. And of course, Revelation chapter 18, verse 20. Okay? The Lord is going to avenge his prophets and his elect upon Babylon, man, by taking this place out. Okay, verse fit. Let's look sloggy. Verse uh nine again. Second Israel chapter fifteen, verse nine. And therefore said the Lord, how about Shemashai? 
I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Modern day Egypt is America, Babylon the Great. Revelation 11 and 8. All right, because of the captivity of the Hebrew Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plants as before and will destroy all the land thereof. There's going to be man-made plants, but there's also going to be plants from Yahweh Shemiel Shai as well, man. And the plants that are going to come from Yahweh Shemiel Shai is going to be far worse than what Esau's going to bring, okay? <laughs> it's going to be far worse, man, all right? Verse 12. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. Verse 13. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fail through the blasting and hailing with a fearful constellation. Verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For, for, the, sorry, for the sword and their destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in the hand. You're going to have race wars, gender wars, all right? You're going to have civil unrest, civil strife. You're going to have it all, man. The, hey, it's going to be a chaotic scene here in Babylon, the great America, man, real soon, okay? And your modern-day sword is the gun, because there are more guns in America than there are people, Okay? Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. They're not going to regard their mayors, senators, governors, the police, the president, none of this. These people are going to take matters into their own hands, man. Okay? Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Martial law, checkpoints, cities are going to be closed off. States are going to be closed off. You won't be able to travel anywhere. And really, you ain't going to be able to travel nowhere unless you have, <clears throat> excuse me, the MOTB, man, that digital tag that's going to go underneath your skin, okay? You're not going to be able to move around, okay? Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Okay? This is what's coming. Right? Excuse me. Snarky. All right, let's move on. This is Zechariah chapter 14, verse 2. I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle. And this is talking about the people before a place, man. Okay? And the city shall be taken, the house is rifled, and the women ravished. What do you think will be happening to women in, when all hell breaks loose, man? When the lights go out. No more 911. No more 1-800-CALL-K, man. The police. These police ain't gonna be coming to you women's rescue. Especially you ease that enjoy calling the police on your men. Hey, <laughs> man, please. No more 911, no more police officers to call. Psh. Hey, these men are going to have opportunity. Okay? They're going to become opportunists. Okay? And all you women that have done these Jake men wrong and that dumped men wrong, period, they coming for your ass. Okay? They are coming for you. And man, like I said, man, spirits created for vengeance. And I'm going to get that scripture. I'm going to get that. Let's read this. Let's finish reading this, though. Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 2. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, the houses rifled, and the women ravished. A lot of these women are going to be getting R-A-P-E-D out here. Okay? Taken. Sold as a commodity. Passed around. Okay? Half of the city shall go, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity. A lot of you Israelites going to be getting snatched out of your homes. Doors kicked in by the martial law troops. Okay? Kicked in. Grabbed in the middle of the night. Thrown into a, a bus or a back of a truck and hauled off to these FEMA camps, man. 
They got these FEMA camps and concentration camps ready to go, okay? And the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city, okay? Let's go to that scripture I said I was going to go to. Sirachal Ecclesiastes chapter 29, not 29, it's Lachia. Sirachal Ecclesiastes chapter 39 and verse 28, it's there be spirits that are created for vengeance, in which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of the in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Who? Yahabashai. These spirits created for vengeance are going to appease the wrath of Lord Yahabashi Yahshai is going to appease him. Why? Because this is all gonna be sent from Yahabashi Okay? Verse 29. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. The teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. These are all created for the wicked, man. Okay? The wickedness of the Edomites, the wickedness of our people, two-thirds of you wicked-ass Israelites, man, and the heathens. Okay? Verse 31. They shall rejoice in his commandment. Whose commandment? How about Shia Shai's commandment? And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. No, they're not going to transgress the word of the Lord. Okay. Um, I got a lot of scriptures I want to read, man. Okay. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Verse 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the morning have I shine, shine, so cometh as a thief in the night. Verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon the man's travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You're not going to escape the judgment of the Lord. Esau Edom can't escape his judgment. Two-thirds of you Israelites are not going to escape your judgment. Point blank period. At least you repent. Okay? But now is the time to repent. Okay? So you can escape the judgment of the Lord. So you can be exempt. But if you don't want to repent, then hey. Oh well. <clears throat> the book of Revelation chapter 4. It's like chapter 18 verse 4. It's like you. And I heard another voice from heaven saying... Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Why, Lord? Verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. And that's the elect being called up into the chariots, and beamed up into the chariots before the ultimate destruction. That's going to kill millions. The ICBM nuclear missiles, the laser being fired from the chariots. That's going to kill millions. Okay? Here in Babylon, the great America. And throughout the parts of the earth, okay? The Babylon is the main target, man. America, Babylon the Great, is the main target, the number one target, okay? Verse 6 Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. Verse 7 How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I said a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. That's the pride of America, man. Thinking America can't be touched. Boasting and bragging about his military might. When all these nations about to be <laughs> all about to be gathered up to nuke this place out, man. Okay? This place, <laughs> man, this bitch is about to go in the dark, man. Okay? Verse 8. Therefore shall her plans come in one day. Death and mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong as the Lord, how about she outside, who judged her? Okay? Excuse me, my allergies messing with me, man. So, it's lucky about that. Season's about to change. Anyway, Isaiah 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord Yahabashi Yahshua will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fearing and his rebuke with flames of fire. 
Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will the glory of Shai plead with all flesh, and the slaying of the glory of Shai shall be many. Okay? You think what happened in Turkey is the 12,000 people that went back to the spirit world, hey, a lot of people about to be called back to the spirit world, man. Okay? Even two-thirds of our people, man, are going to have to go through that death by pain. Okay? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's go here. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 16. As for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection, and the seeds of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. Who's the seed of unrighteous, man? Esau, even the so-called white man, the Edomites are. Okay? Verse 17. For though they live long, Yet shall they be nothing regarded, and their last age shall be without honor. So, hey, Esau Edom is coming to a close, man. Okay, his kingdom is coming to a rapid close. And his end is going to be without honor. All right? His glory is being turned into shame. As a matter of fact, let me get that. Ooh. <laughs> Perfect timing. Let's go to Habakkuk 2 and 16, I believe. It is. Yeah, here it is. Come on. The book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 16. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the glory, Habashiachai's right hand, shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Shameful spewing is on this devil's glory, man. His glory is being turned to shame. He's being exposed. His history is being exposed, man, for the whole world to see. Okay, and he doesn't like it. He don't like the fact that his histories and his, what he has done is being put out into the forefront. And not only Esau Edom is being exposed, Eve is being exposed along with him. And they both about to fall. Okay, let's read this again. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 17 again. For though they live long, yet shall they be nothing regarded. And their last age, which is where in the last age of Esau Edom, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob's the beginning of it that followed, shall be without honor. Or if they die quickly, they have no hope. And these devils don't have no hope. There's no repentance for the Edomites, man. Now, remember this. We do got Israelites that are scattered amongst these damn devils, okay? But hey, the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to sift them out, man, okay? They're going to be sifted out. Okay, but the rest of these Edomites, there is no hope for them. Neither comfort in the day of trial. Verse 19, for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. Yeah, horrible end is going to be upon them, man. Okay. <clears throat> the book of Sirach, chapter 16, verse 6. In the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled, and in a rebellious nation, Wrath is set on fire, okay? Millions are going to die, man. Two-thirds of our people are going to die. These Edomites are going to die, and the heathens are going to die. When them ICBM nuclear missiles hit this place, man, okay? It's going to be in the millions, and before the, even before then, man, okay? Even before the missiles get shot onto this place, okay? This is uh, Sirachal Ecclesiastes chapter 21 and verse 9. The congregation of the wicked is like tow wrapped together, and the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them. Yeah. So, hey, you think what happens? You think 12,000 deaths in Turkey and Syria from that earthquake happened? That, that, that was bad? Yeah. Wait till that comes to America. It's going to be in the millions, okay? And horrible judgment is about to go forth, man, okay? So with that, I'm going to end it here, man. So Lord willing, I praise the lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash, Double Lost to the Elves and the Apostles, a great millstone who were well. Peace, blessings, and citations go to the hopeful let that scattered abroad. See you with another lesson soon, Lord willing. Kwam Yahshua, Rala, Shalom, Wam. Why about the ball? About the one DTA about the ball soon. Well, when we got next, man, we're about to get the hell up out of here, man. So, till next time, why about the ball? More willing soon. Boom!
Sean Walton next time. Sean Walton.